welcome everybody to another episode of Hunting with Pratze. And um, today I'm on Logger's Point, starting from the Border Lodge, because I really feel like hunting some mule deer, if possible. And first I'm gonna show you the weapons we take with us. And it's the 270 bolt action rifle that I really like to use when I'm hunting on Logger's Point, because uh, on Logger's Point there's um, not the big game animals that would require a bigger caliber of ammunition. So I like to use this rifle or even the .243 um, here on Logger's Point. And I also want to take with me the action shotgun, the pump action shotgun and I have some birdshot, buckshot and also slugs with me. So let's load it up. And yeah, this one we loaded already. So um Today I would like to uh, visit this stand up here. It's a great overview you have from this point. You can actually see miles in every direction, so I really like to to use that stand. And I also want to um, take the opportunity to uh, tell you about a competition that is going on um, lately and um, you can find it on the official the hunter forums they made a new section there which is called um, official media competitions or something like that and the first competition they put up there is to make a tutorial about hunting new deer and um, yeah I just want to uh, shout it out to you guys um, so whoever watching this um, is experienced or wants to try to do some some video work on YouTube you could really give it a shot and um, they said you can win some very nice prizes and yeah it's actually supposed to be a video not longer than five minutes to show like make a tutorial how to successfully hunt mule deer and um, I plan to give it a try too um, so yeah just wanted to mention that you could check it out on the f on the official the hunter forums um, which I highly recommend to visit the forums. Um, I think I never, um, I never saw a community on a game comparable to the community we have on the Hunter. And also the developers really stay close in touch with the community they really listen to what people say there and um, yeah so I just wanted to tell you about that and now as always I'm going to be back when something is going on here hey guys I just heard uh, the call of a feral hawk but I was reacting too slow to uh, catch it with uh, to catch it with the hunter mate. But um, since I'm here in a very nice spot and a you know flat area here, I decided to uh, set up my ground blind that I took with me today. Um, and uh, now I'm f I find a nice place to set it up. And of course, um, 
Um, yeah, I didn't know because I didn't pick up the call. I didn't exactly know where the animal is calling from, so I risked it now to uh, to spook it by setting up the ground blind. But um, with a little bit of um, experience, you can also tell the distance a little bit by how loud the call is. Um, that's also something that is very well done in this game. Um, you really can can hear the direction the call is from, and also the distance um, when when you. I mean, this is. Let's see if the if the ground blind is set up okay here. Uh, yeah, well, that that should be okay. So yes, let's just wait for the feral hawk, and hopefully, it's a whole whole group, and um, I let you know. And here we go. There is a call of a female. So, um... Let's hope it's not only her. But, um... When it comes to, uh, hawks and wild boars, I... do actually also take females because um, that might be um, because in Germany where I live and we have um, we have uh, wild boars here and the hunters here do really have a problem with them because there is so many and um, they destroy the fields of the farmers um, very often so um, here where I live the hunters um, do really have to um, to take any opportunity they get on hunting wild boars we don't have the feral hogs but I think it could be kind of the same way in America with them and um, yeah I'm not a hunter so I also don't really know about the seasons for for um, wild boar hunting but from what I heard it's, it's kind of a constant fight in some areas of Germany to uh, decrease the numbers and uh, yeah, that's why I <laughs> like to take any opportunity on hawks and boars. Okay, so let's keep our eyes open. If she is alone, but it looks like she's roaming about alone. And uh, let me check. Yes, we have slugs and um, I think it used to be ethical to hunt them with buckshot but not anymore and actually I find that a good decision. So I'm gonna take this one with some slug but let's see if I can show you um, how safe you are in, in this um, ground blind. We saw it from uh, a while ago and that was on my German series of hunting with Pratze when I tried to hunt um, coyotes with the tripod and that was really something that didn't work out at all. 
So I can highly recommend the ground blind if you hunt for coyotes or turkeys. Okay, let's take the shot. It's presenting a nice broadside. Let's have a clean kill. Perfect. So, nothing really spectacular here, as it's a female feral hog. But, um, as said already, I just um, show you how I hunt. And that's the shoulder blade, right lung and left lung. And we have a score of 355.919. And there's a W, and that's um, because the score is resulting from the weight of the animal. So you also get boars um, that have a weight score and um, that's just when the tusks are um, not long enough to um, make a difference in the score then you will have a weight score even on male feral hogs and also wild boars so that's good to know Okay, let's continue our way and I'll be back with you when something happens. And guys, we got another call of a female feral hawk and it's near the stand we are going to. So I'm wondering again if she's alone. And uh, we will find out about that, I'm pretty sure. But in the meanwhile, there came something to my mind I also wanted to, sh to tell you about. Um, and it's that I am really grateful how uh, you guys interact with me on YouTube and also on my profile on The Hunter. So thank you for that. And... Um, Behind the scenes there is uh, quite some planning going on for my channel, so um, I'm planning to do some interesting things and um, I hope to be able to, uh, to do that in the next couple weeks. Um, I'm not going to uh, tell you too much about it and it's also not the biggest deal <laughs> so um, but yeah there is something planned and um, I hope it's working out great and yeah let's now check out the feral hawk situation here and I'll be back when I know a little bit more about that and guys since I know already that there's feral hawks in the area I will leave some scent here um, in a good distance from the stand just as a preparation for the hunt and um, yeah that's a that's a nice technique actually you can do I, I do I do that many times when I know there's um, animals in the area and I'm making my way to a to a stand oh nice male mule deer tra tracks yeah when I make my way to a stand on the way I al already uh, put out a scent so um, that works sometimes pretty well. And here you can see now the great overview that I was talking about. Um, and I think there is there something? No. Playing this game so long now and still getting fooled by rocks and bushes. <laughs> yeah, but I think that happens to everyone. Yeah, but as you can see, 
you can really look in every direction and here is a feral hawk looks to be a male this color type is most of the time male but he's he seems to be walking in a different direction I'm gonna try a call additionally So yeah, let's see what happens here. And I had already great hunts on Whitetail from this stance and also Moodier. So I'm gonna sit and wait here for a little bit and hopefully we we will get to see something. Okay guys, I was watching the male feral hawk now for a while and it's weird he doesn't seem to be interested in our scent and um, he actually keeps moving away ah now <laughs> now he's he turned around and I hope he's getting close because um, when I look at his tusks he could be a, a good score it's hard to tell from here, but could be around 800, 900, something like that. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. So don't you agree? Uh, it would be more interesting to just have only the judgment that you see. And now... Yeah, here's the score guess now. 700 to 1080. Mm, okay. Yeah, well. I will keep you guys updated. Okay, guys. The hawk is getting close to where the scent is now. And he's a good distance now for the rifle so I'm going to take the shot now it's also nice that direction he's uh, approaching from because I can use the open space where the ladder is to uh, to go prone and therefore have a much more steady aim I think I could try to shoot his spine. Okay, that didn't work. But it looks like he's going down. Yes, 